How long have you been on the academy? Here, uh, this is my first winter. Uh, I've been in the emerging players for the last two years, but since September, joined the academy. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, yeah, it's been really good. Met new staff, new players, got on with them really well. Really enjoyed it. Uh, what have you enjoyed most about uh, spending the winter here? Um, possibly the, sort of the laughs that we have, sort of because we're all working hard, but sort of in breaks, sort of have a laugh with all, all the coaches as well as, as the players. So obviously working hard, but a bit of a laugh as well in between. And uh, how do you think it's helping your development as a player? You know, it's, it's really helped. I mean, coming down twice a week, you get a lot of chance to to work on technical things and not just well. It's not just like the twice a week you can come. You can come down for one to ones as well, which I think I'm going to find more beneficial over the Easter holidays as well, so I can work on specific technical things then. And who have you enjoyed working with most here? Uh, well, I've known Westy probably the longest, so I think I find it a lot easier talking to him, So, and he's really helpful to me. Um, but there's other coaches as well who aren't necessarily there with the academy, but uh, someone like Rory I find really helpful as well, because I've known him for quite a while as well. And do you feel the academy is putting you on the, the right track for a career in professional cricket? Yeah, I, I hope so. I think if I look at someone like Steve Fitt, who's one of the first, I think, to go for the academy and play for England, certainly shows that I'm going in the right direction, I think. Yeah, Stephen is uh, seeming to be a, a source of huge sort of pride and uh, inspiration amongst the academy students. So, I mean, what was it like to sort of be, be watching someone who's come through the system playing test cricket in Bangladesh over the last few weeks? Yeah, it was quite surreal because obviously quite a um, quick call up, especially to the team as well. So, it was really good to see that someone from the academy was playing. And uh, I think to learn from it would probably be the most important thing because he's, he's, he's been where I have and so if I keep going where I am, hopefully I'm up in his footsteps. And um, which sort of cricketers, uh, as you said then, as a youngster sort of inspired you to, 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 to want to be a cricketer in the first place? If I look, I look no further than sort of Andrew Strauss, captain of England, plays at Middlesex as well, I think he's a really, really good role model to follow and someone like Alistair Cook as well, went to the same school as him so I know him quite well. So the two are investment I think for England and they've got similar disciplines that I'd like to play as well. And what sort of disciplines are they? Well, open the batting as well, um, it's the main thing, and I think the way they go about, about it, I think they've both got a good mental approach, good attitude, and the way they get big scores as well, I think definitely something I'd like to, to idolise. So, I mean, they're the, they're the characteristics they've got, which sort of characteristics would you say stand out as, as far as them as individuals? Uh, I think just their mental toughness, I think the way that Strauss showed is his strength in the ashes to get a big hundred and the way that Cook recently as captain has still been able to get like, big scores against pressure as well and he did so in South Africa as well against the critics and stuff like that so I think their mental toughness would definitely be something I'd like to replicate. And uh, how do you think you might be able to sort of uh, develop the, your mental toughness? Well, working with the psychologists here at Middlesex and working, just talking to different players as well I think getting experience from, from players like Strauss and Cook, just the team and what, they, what they've got to say about it and then try and learn from it and then put yourself under pressure as well to test your mental toughness. Uh, what you, what's been your best uh, moment in cricket, the highlight in, in cricket as a cricketer so far? Uh, I think, what was it, two seasons ago when I think a couple of players have been called up for regional cricket so I was captain of my age group at Middlesex and got a big hundred as well. So I think that's probably my proudest moment so far. You've obviously got to combine uh, a sort of a fledging career as a, as a at the Middlesex Academy with the, that of a student. Uh, how do you how do you do that? Uh, well, I think time is like the key for me because if I do something, I like to put a lot of time into it. So I think if I can if I can find the right time and balance it out appropriately, I think that's when I can get a good or well, do well in my studies as well as being able to do well at cricket. So I think time is definitely something that I look to organise the most. Is it hard to concentrate on your studies when there's cricket going on? Uh, yeah, I think it can be. Well, I find it hard. <laughs> but um, if I put once I get, I find it hard to get started. But once I got started with my work, I yeah, I've got my mind to it quite well. But yeah, I find it, I find it pretty distracting as well because I just want to play a lot of the time. And how uh, sympathetic are your parents to that sort of situation? It varies. It depends what results I'm getting. <laughs> I think my mum sort of she's quite lenient, but my dad he likes to try and find the balance. But I please everybody. And uh, aspiration-wise, where would you hope to be in, in, in three years' time? Um, well, I've got 
two year contract in the academy so after that I'd hopefully look to possibly try and get a, a scholarship uh, contract or maybe look to play the second team if I can and then hopefully look to progress to the first team. Have you been looking to combine it with the university or? I've look, been looking recently at a couple of universities, um, spoken to a few people that I know who have been sort of looking at universities or trying to decide whether they should go. Um, so I've looked at it quickly but not, not in such detail as yet. Uh, who do you think rates the, the best player that you've played with or against? I toured India recently and I played against a couple um, under 19s. Um, but at school cricket, I played against Sam Northeast a couple of years ago and I think he looked like a good player to me. So I think he's he definitely, definitely a good player and technically as well, he looked top level. So there's sort of a, sort of loads of conversations between test cricket and, and one day stroke 2020 cricket. So where do you see yourself? Are you a test or a 2020 man? I'd like to think I could do a bit of both, but um, I'd, I'd probably put myself more as a test player. Um, I find it a lot harder to sort of just play from, from ball one sort of thing. I, I like to play myself in, so I think, and you've got all the time in the world in test cricket, I think, as well, so I'd like to put myself more as a test player. And your dream one day would be to? Play at the Lords for England in the Ashes. That would be perfect. <laughs>